Let's talk about ooh, Keswick Island, okay? Keswick Island, off Mackay. Now, that's a lovely little island, airstrip. Uh, a bunch of people built sort of holiday shacks there. They rent them out as uh, bed and breakfasts. And there's, a, uh, there's some of the purest honey in Australia is grown there. The bees are there. They have oh. their hives. And uh, it's been a, a thriving little community. Lovely, lovely set up there. Mm. Now, the Palaszczuk government leased the island to a company called China Bloom. There's a surprise. And China Bloom's remit is to develop in, into a, uh, a tourist destination. Well, in the process of doing that, they've shut down the airstrip so they can't fly in anymore. They've uh, prevented access for the honey maker to get to his hives. And they are making it near impossible for the, uh, the bed and breakfast owners to operate their bed and breakfasts. Mm. So they've effectively shut down. The Palaszczuk government has effectively shut down an island mm. that was uh, a lovely little place for the Australians and, and, for, and for, for tourists in order to facilitate another China takeover. Yeah. See, that's why they're so arrogant. Because mm. they, they own Australia in their minds, and they probably do. They're bought and paid for just about every politician they've got. And the ones that aren't owned by China, they're owned by the Islamists. And the ones that aren't owned, owned, aren't, aren't owned by the Islamists, they're owned by, let's say, well, I don't know, the corporations. So China's moving in. It's taking over. It owns the place. It's moving with arrogance. It's a bully. It's affecting the lives of Australians in a real and immediate way, all facilitated by corrupted politicians. Mm. Australia's got to wake up. The average punter has got to wake up and realise that you just can't sit in, in the corner and hope that they leave you alone. They're not yeah. going to leave you alone. At yeah. no point will they leave you alone. Yeah.